Λαύρο κατά των Ευρωπαίων και του Διεθνού Νομισματικού Ταμείου εμφανίστηκε ο Τσάρλ Νταλάρα, ο γενικό συντονιστή, θα λέγαμε, του πρώτου κουρέματο του ελληνικού χρέου, ο οποίο βρίσκεται στην Αθήνα συμμετέχοντα σε οικονομικό συνέδριο. Α ακούσουμε τι είπε πριν από λίγο αποκλειστικά στον Αντένα και την Κατερίνα Αντωνοπούλου για τη συζήτηση που βρίσκεται σε εξέλιξη όσον αφορά τη νέα αναδιάρθρωση του ελληνικού χρέου. I do believe that we need to get out of the cycle of these extended reviews, extended delays, and constant political debate about whether Greece will be part of the euro or not. Would you say that Greece uh, made a step voting on these measures, showing that it performs, now the Europeans should make the next? Uh, yes, I think that's a good way to frame this, especially through reduction of the interest rates charged to Greece. Um, and this should include the central banks as well as the ECB. It should include bilateral loans. It should include multilateral loans. It should include the IMF. And what's your opinion about an official sector debt restructuring, as many say? We're probably unsettled, dramatically unsettled, the political dynamic in Europe, and I think undercut the potential continued support of Greece. We need to bring to bear the instruments and the tools we have from the outside to support Greece at this difficult time. And make also the debt uh, in a sustainable level. As soon as we start seeing growth here, we're not going to obsess every day about debt sustainability. It would be very important if all of the leaders, political and financial leaders of Europe, would stop their speculation. This is unhelpful. So now there is a funding hole of 32.6 billion left by this two-year extension time and a huge conflict between the IMF and the Eurolander about who is going to pay for it. How dangerous is it for the Greek economy? Well, of course, it certainly doesn't help. I think that uh, yesterday would have been the right time for the Eurozone governments to step up and confirm that they will cover this gap and then they could sort out the details themselves. Too much emphasis is being placed on this 120 debt to GDP target, which the IMF has stipulated. Um, in my view, uh, the IMF should not just focus on this nominal target, But you look at what are the dynamics that... Christine Lagarde has also said that additional prior action should be verified for further aid. Do you believe that Greece can really stand additional austerity measures now that the Greek people are really forced beyond their limits? Well, I'm not exactly sure to what Ms. Lagarde referred. I would say in general terms, though, Greece has done a lot. It's not the time to be looking for one, two, or three more prior actions. It's important that that course correction involve less upfront austerity, more time for budget deficits. I think the key at this stage to moving toward a more sustainable debt position for Greece is the restoration of growth. So there was a substantial debt reduction with the PSI, over 100 billion were wiped off in one day. What went wrong? And the debt is still not at a sustainable level. Do you think that also the recipe given to Greece was not so correct, focusing exclusively on budget cuttings? Let's face it, there has been much too much focus on short-term budget cutting, not enough on structural reform, and not enough recognition. As long as Europe remains, div remains divided about its future, this will be part of the challenge that continues to hang over Greece as well as other countries such as Spain, Portugal. And what's your opinion about the coalition government in Greece and the effort by the Prime Minister Antonis Samaras over these last four or five months to meet the targets? You know, I've been impressed. I must say I've been impressed. This was not an easy situation to walk into amidst many doubts. And yet I think that what they have done is demonstrate that they can work together as a coalition, even though they may still have political differences. They have, they have shown some capacity to put their short-term political interests on the back burner mm -hmm. and look at the long-term interests of Greece. I wish more countries could do that. If we can see progress 
in these long-standing problems of revenue compliance and tax payments. I think then we will see the ingredients of success begin to emerge in front of our eyes. Begin to emerge in front of our eyes.